So I'm working on a bit of an upgrade to my nature's head composting toilet. Um, it used to have this little tiny fan on here. And I realized it was quiet, but I wanted more power to suck the air out of the toilet and expel it outside because I have a max fan. And the max fan can overpower the stock fan that came with the nature's head toilet. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a larger fan on my nature's head toilet. And you can see the difference. It's like, a, you know, almost two or three times as tall and it's got a way higher RPM and uh, you know only about three times as much current draw. Um, it's going to be a little bit louder but it's okay because I'm kind of a white noise kind of person. I like to have a little white noise going so I don't hear every little sound all over. But uh, what happened was I soldered the connectors on here and you can plug it up and it goes woo, it's really loud but it's not tall enough because of that gets in the way of the fan. So I needed a little extension. So what I'm doing right now is I'm 3D printing an extension for this and then I'm going to post the files to Thingiverse so other people can 3D print it. And then I am going to include specifications of this fan so that they can use it also. And what this does is this is the, the exhaust fan to the toilet and this exhaust hose runs outside. But uh, yeah, so I'll show you that when I get it finished and, and assembled. And again, here's the old fan here, this little tiny thing. And there's the new fan. And it's going to create quite a bit more suction and hopefully overpower my max fan. Uh, so that I don't get toilet smells coming into the RV when I have my max fan on. All right. And uh, you have a max fan because I live in the RV all the time and when I shower. It takes a long time to dry the water out of the trailer if you don't run the max fan. And also it helps uh, when you live in cold climates that are always um, like fogging up your windows and getting condensation in your windows. It helps circulate the air so you don't get condensation. Uh, speaking of air, my AC just came on, but I'll show you the 3D print in just a second here. It's just an extension for this. Okay, <clears throat> so here's what I drew up. It's just like a little extension. And this is just going to go around on top of it and it's going to make it so that the fan fits and I could still put the tube on and I actually have it printing right here on the printer I figured I'd make it some bright green obnoxious material just for fun so it stands out really good when it's finished and you can see what it is but this is the base that it's printing on now it's going to print the part shortly apparently the whole print's about five percent done or whatever so that should be done soon, and once I get it put together, I'll put it under here and put it on there and we'll give it a shot and see how it works. I just wanted to note, the original fan came with these little short screws here, and they get through the fan cover also, and that's it. I had to go get longer screws to work with the bigger fan. So those needed to be replaced, and when this is done, I'm going to have to get longer screws for here because you can see them they won't work with an extension they're just barely enough for this so and actually I have one of those fans running right here um, on my 3d printer too and this is a little bit smaller one different rpm but they're really good fans I, and they have ball bearings in them so they're really quiet but uh, you can't even hear that one you can't hear the fan but anyway so you need to get longer screws of the system he can just get them in a hardware store They're like a buck or whatever two bucks but uh, i'll show you it when it's all complete okay so here i have what is about revision four of my high speed nature's head toilet fan adapter bushing here and you can see i've added like an o-ring groove and the uh this guy goes right on top here and you can put an o-ring in it and everything but it is cooling down right now I have another one and I made it and it was a little bit taller and you can see I used a bit of a gasket there um, it's just a wire for testing it I just use like some silicone wire for testing it for a gasket but uh, this should be the final version I believe um, 
I'm waiting for it to cool down. Then I'm gonna pluck it off and pop it on the John and see how it is. I'll get back to you. So there it is at work. I have it hooked up to a 12 volt, one amp supply right now. And I have my max fan running. I just took a shower and my max fan is now running at full power to try and clear out the shower, all the water that's in the shower. And uh, it sucks a lot of juice and it brings a lot of air in. I leave these open. I can feel nice cool air coming in here and I have some air coming in those windows over there. But, uh, so that's why I needed this. Um, with that max fan running at full speed, I was able to smell toilet smells coming out of the toilet intake over here. And the reason I have bug screens on all this is to try and keep bugs out. There's bug screens on the exit outside the toilet, and bug screens everywhere. So I need all these high power fans to work with all the bug screens and the max fans and everything. So um, as you can see, it's a little bit loud, but I don't mind white noise. I'm kind of a white noise person. Uh, also, it's not quite as loud as the max fan. So in total, I mean, it's just another, another uh, sound. It kind of, when you open it up, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like an airplane toilet. It's just like, you can hear it sucking, which is kind of cool. And that just goes out to exhaust outside my trailer. And you can see my washing machine setting up next to it over here, but that's another story. Uh, it looks like my high power fan extension and modification is going to work out perfect. I'm not smelling my toilet and my max fan is on high as you can see by those two beeps there. So we're doing good. Job well done.